Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Glen ZB TV, the show that puts Glen ZB up your periscope. Uh, this morning, uh, the International Space Station astronauts are eating their own space salad. Uh, that's right, they grow the veg they grow the vegetables themselves. This is the first time uh, they have tried to eat space grown food. Uh, which is remarkable to me because in all the space movies and things I've seen, uh, they've always got like, your big hydroponic area. Uh, they need to look out, uh, that's where a lot of uh, dangerous aliens will hide. Uh, so they need to patrol that area pretty... Uh, presumably it's rocket, most of it, is it? You see what I did there? I made a very funny joke about... Don't worry about it, we'll move on. Uh, speaking of uh, food, uh, Mike Hosking this morning uh, had the results of a study which... I think it was a Swedish study uh, which showed that uh, if you uh, eat with your eyes closed, you will uh, are likely to eat 24% less apparently, then if you see the food and eat it. Um, I suggested that this may be because you can't find the cutlery, uh, the plate, or the food itself. Um, I've also suggested that if you handcuff, hello Indonesia, hi to you, all of you, it's millions of you there, thanks for tuning in, that should do wonders for my viewership. Um, yeah, I also suggested that if you handcuff yourself and keep yourself blindfolded, uh, you will eat a lot less. Uh, straight jacket, that'll help. Maybe even just one of those Hannibal Lecter style um, trolleys that they wheel people about on. Uh, wheel yourself away from the food. Just an idea. Uh, these are all, then you get exercise as well as eating less, so that's, that's definitely going to help. Uh, now, just on a personal note, here at work at, at New Zealand ZB in Auckland, New Zealand, Indonesia, if you're wondering what you were watching, uh, I, I just, um, I've got, I'm a bit, every morning I come in and I fill up my drink bottle, uh, but it's not easy. We've got this, this is the tap in the kitchen. Now, as you'll see, it doesn't look like a normal sort of a tap, it doesn't have this thing going on. And it doesn't even have one of these things. It, these things, you have to push down, and, and you can't tell from the picture, but that, that one, it's got a little sign that says boiling water. This one says chilled water. And I want the chilled water to go into my... And it's all filtered, although pretty much ever since we've had this tap, there's a little light that says clean filter, or change filter. I don't think that's ever happened to the best of my knowledge. Anyway, water still seems to come out, but only if you push one of those things at once. And then you click it down, and the water comes out, Seems like a good plan, except every morning I come in and I can't manage to just push, I push both and then nothing happens. Or I push the wrong one and I get boiling. Why can't we have a normal tap? That's all I'm asking. Glad I got that out of my system. Thanks for tuning in in Indonesia, I, I bet you're glad. Uh, finally, we've got a, I've got a solution to the flag crisis that we're obviously having, which is why uh, we, we've now narrowed it down to 40 40, 40 options uh, to replace our flag with. Why don't we just have all of them? So I'll get a, got that, a bit of sticky tape, and then we'll just, hang on, just bear with me here. I just, because I just sort of think that way, surely we can keep everybody happy. There you go. What's wrong with that flag? But perhaps it needs a bigger stick, I don't know. Or, they're actually, they're a lot smaller than I were expecting, those flags. Uh, or, um, here's another option. I've already done a stick on that one, so. Yeah. I, no idea, I love listening to the accent. <laughs> I don't have an accent. You're the one with an accent. Anyway, on that note, Fly the flag for Glen ZB TV, the show that puts Glen ZB up your periscope. I'll see you back here again tomorrow.